Chris, you were in the hearing this morning, and what's next for Jakari Taylor? Yeah, well, next is for him to go to the juvenile justice system. He was sentenced to 10 years active time. It turned out to be a blended sentence, meaning part of it will be served in the juvenile justice system. Once he reaches 21, he goes to the Department of Corrections and will serve the remainder, which should be about four years by that time. That'll be in 2027 in the adult system. Taylor was involved in a shooting. It was in September of last year at Heritage High School. There were two victims. One, he was involved with a, in a fight with this 17-year-old uh, boy. He pulled out a gun and shot him, but also kept firing and shot a female, also 17. Both of them survived their wounds. However, when this happened, he was wearing an ankle bracelet from a juvenile offense that also was a malicious wounding and involved a firearm. Today, he pleaded guilty in the current case, the one from Heritage High School, six felonies, and he was sentenced by Judge Christopher Papil to 10 years active time. The two shootings, the one while he was a juvenile, back when he was actually 14 years old, was related in some way to the one last year in September at Heritage High School. Both, as I mentioned, both students survived their wounds. But uh, Taylor was sentenced to 10 years active time. The judge said during his sentencing, I cannot ignore the fact that this is not your first offense. I'll have much more on what happened today in court this afternoon, beginning at 4 o'clock on Wavy News 10. Live at Newport News, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.